Let's look at the issue of traffic. Yes. What do you intend to do about traffic in Nairobi? You know, <laughs> if we don't do anything in this city, we'll grind to a halt. I think we're almost ground to a halt. There are times you can spend three hours in traffic. You know, as I said, I always feel for our kids and our parents who have to wake up four in the morning. And for some of you who work very early, who if you have to report here at six, you have to leave your house at five. It doesn't make sense. We have bigger cities in the world with bigger populations and more vehicles than Nairobi. And movement is eased off, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. I've said in our plan, we have 16 roundabouts around the city that we need to do something about to just ease traffic. But that is only a short-term solution. The mid to long-term solution is to have a light trail that can ferry people to the city. But in the short term, in the next 18 months, 16 roundabouts, we need to do either small tunnel or overpasses. And would that be feasible in the five years that you would be I've said in 18 months. In 18 months. There are six on Uhuru Highway. And how would you find that? It's not a big thing. There are three lanes on each roundabout and another three. You bring two down. The issue of funding, Kidero's administration has collected or been allocated 100 billion in four years. That translates to 69 million a day. Done nothing with it. And he admitted it in a debate. He said he has spent most of it, 92%, on salaries and recurrent. He had nothing for development. And, what a waste. And, and you what see, a if, waste. Mm -hmm. If you take up that docket, then you'd be taking up already what is currently running. So those salaries would you still have, be there. You know, so are you saying you would get rid of some of the staff? You know, what, how exactly would you, you know, find this? You know, you know, when you take over a company and you run it as an entity, you look at your income, you look at your expenses, and you decide there are certain expenses you can make a profit center out of. There are certain luxuries you can forego. To do those six roundabouts, each roundabout would cost less than 200 million. Just to have two lanes go under on one side and two, and make Uhuru Highway an expressway. It is our beltway in the city. Mm -hmm. You need to allow vehicles to flow. Look at City Stadium roundabout. Mm -hmm. You can do an interchange. Look at Pangani, Mlango Kubwa, Juja Road. You can do an interchange, and you will not have a back pile of vehicles. We will ease in 18 months. There will be a few disruptions here as we do it, but we will ease traffic. So according to you, in 18 months, you'll be able to get the funding and be able to do the tunneling yes. and have that done. What about the and issue? There, and there are many agencies all over the world, mm -hmm. and we have connections. We, we can talk to them. There are many donors who would like to assist. Look at the small ring road in Kilimani, Kileleshwa. Jaika did it, right? Mm. I still know that at the riverside, Kileleshwa Junction, we could have had an underpass so that you clear that junction. It's very simple to just approach Jaika and say, can we go under as you go to Westlands? Mm. They'll do it. OK, the issue of parking within the city, the CBD? You know, again, poor planning. You allow buildings to come up without adequate parking. You have empty spaces. You could do parkings. Look, this central park here. Look at Jivanji. What can you do under? And create parking, affordable parking. You can do it. All these sound like very good grand plans, but um, still they are, not they, convinced that they are, they are not, the money to... They are to... not grand plans. Mm. You know you can do a PPP on parking, public-private initiative. Mm -hmm. You can do it because it will pay back itself. You go to Hyde Park in London, there are lots of car park down there, right? Mm -hmm. Built by private entities and retain the park at the top so that people can park. You can ease. It's just good ideas and somebody who can implement. We are not reinventing the wheel. We are doing what other cities have done, have done before. Yes. All right.